to build up the muscles in the beginning, I try to um, launch my horse. I try to start from the ground. I try, try to get my horse um, building up muscles only by lunging in the beginning um, as much as, as it's possible. So um, normally if you have a young horse and you lunge your horse, um, they tend to use a big circle. So I try to get the horse in a smaller circle and to get the horse to be in a curved position to me so that he really gets with the head inside around me and he's moving nicely and trot and in canter. To make this in a small circle, the horse needs a very good balance and the horse needs already a lot of muscles to really keep a nice quiet canter in a small circle. How this looks like, I'm gonna show you with Fideo now. Start the button trot. You see this horse already is trained in circles, he's liberty trained, so he's always looking to me. In the beginning it's important that the horse really looks to me. Now I let him go a little bit more outside so that he goes more straight. Now you see he's getting more outside. It's important in the beginning, yeah, it's important in the beginning to leave your horse a bit trotting, jogging outside to warm up also and when you feel him that he's walking quite nicely you can start to train him and to make it a little bit more difficult go to take a little bit more the rope go 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 he's very attentive to what I'm doing because he's already trained to liberty so he's looking always in what I'm asking the next. So now he's more in a smaller circle, he's very banded to me. He's choosing now to be so banded, but it's for a horse when you start to train him, you really need to work with him to make a little bit of this banding to you. You don't have to have it so extreme as he has it. He, as I told you, he's already trained and he um, is very flexible. So now in this little circle, I will start to canter him. Take the rope a little bit. Try to have a little bit more straight for the canter, yeah. Ah, 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 inside canter, not outside. Ah, ah, so even for the... For the trained horse, sometimes it's difficult to make the right counter. Okay. Yes. Ah, fine. Now he needs to try to stay in this counter. I try to give him space when I see that it's harder for him and when I see that he's doing well, I try to keep it and slowly to make it a little, to make the circle a little, uh, little smaller. Try again. Good boy. I move myself a bit backwards to give him a little bit more space and to keep, keep him around me. Good. Good. So at the end I want to stand still. Good boy. Always correct him if he starts to gallop on the wrong counter. Good. Peace. 
you see it's getting hard for him, so I stop a little bit, let him trot, and then I start to gallop him. Let him breathe a little bit. And gallop again, hopefully in the right gallop. Right gallop, we try again. Good. It's normal to stop and to try again. It's a small circle <coughs> and the horse is very bad. Now he's on the right color and a good gallop on the right canter. So now it's good to leave him like that. Now I'm not asking him to be so banded. He needs to find a bit of position how he feels comfortable to stay. In the beginning he wanted to look a lot to me, so be very banded, but it's harder to stay in gallop when he's banded like this. Now he's standing a bit more straight. Up, 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 up. Don't stop. Good. He's it's very sensitive. Just touched him a little bit with the whip and he changed the gallop. Good. Good. Oh, good boy. So this was already a powerful lesson for him. It's a small circle. Um, I made a lot of changes from trot to counter, trot to counter. When you see that he's countering on the outside, you always stop him and start him again, the tea canters on the inside. When you see that it's getting hard for him, you make a little um, stop in going in trot, let him trot some rounds and gallop again. And try to gallop in the first times just small steps, just maybe one minute. And after training him, um, if you train him well, you can put it up to like five or ten minutes even to gallop him, to change the gallops and to train him like that. So slowly getting him in a good balance and in good shape. What is also good with the training with your horse is a bar training. So you, when you have some bars and you put them on the floor and you launch your horse over the bars. So you can control a bit the steps and the horse le learns to control where he's stepping and he automatically lifts a little bit more the legs to, to trot and to get over, this, over the bars. So it's also a good training for your horse, especially for your young horses to get the coordination and to walk nicely. And now let's see what Fideo says to the bar. First I start to show him the bars so that he don't jump like crazy. Ah, fine. So you're just leading a little bit the horse in the walk over the bars. When you, f yeah, <laughs> when you feel that he has a little bit of confidence, you can start trotting. And of course, you need to look that the horse is not stepping on the bars the whole time. So you have to have him in a distance that the horse can make like one step in between the bars. For him now, as we go in a circle, there are a little bit, they're not equal in, the, in, in each side. So in, in the center of the circle, they're a little bit more close and outside they're a little bit more wide. So if he's trotting now, he needs to go a little bit in the, in the middle or even a little bit outside to get the steps. If he's coming too near, he will step on the bars. But there we need to just to walk him a little, to work him a little bit with the bars and to show him where's the right position. He will find it out also by himself. Okay, we're gonna start trotting now. First next to the bars so I can have a nice trot in the beginning. It's 
also. Now we're gonna see. Up. <laughs> That's normal in the beginning that they start jumping. Much better. Fine. Ease. Ah. Half. Fine. There he was a bit too slow. The beginning is quite good, but then he started cutting. Now it was better. And then he was stepping on the bar. So it's good that he stays or in the middle or a little bit outside. Good, better. Now you saw how he, his, he himself, he corrected the position to make really one step in between. So just make the horse think a bit, little bit how to step, where to put his feet and to have a little bit more control and sense um, over it also. Ah. Very important is to give the same attention and the same uh, time for the horse with both, both sides. If he's quite good on one side to do this, like now on the left hand, uh, it doesn't mean that he can do it in the same way on the right hand. It can be that the right hand is a bit worse than the left hand, so you need to put the same time of showing him and training him as in this side. Ah, ah that was a little bit close. If after a while of training you feel that the horse is learning it. So as you saw it's a good training for your horse. It's good to make the horse think where to put his legs, to make him lift up a little bit more the legs, to improve his coordination and uh, to wide a little bit more the trot also. It's a good uh, training for the muscles because the horse goes more round, he has bigger steps, he lifts more up the legs, so he puts his back a little bit more up and he puts his neck and head a little bit more down, so he creates a round upper line. So it's a good full body training for your horse and it's also entertaining. <laughs>